Boxing Truth here. Two of the other paper champions in the middleweight division, Danny Jacobs and Billy Joe Saunders, are scared to death of Gennady Golovkin. As both guys want huge paydays in order to take on the challenge of fighting a Triple G. That they're not willing to fight Triple G for chump change, even though the purse is being offered to them is career high money. But it's not life changing type money to them in order to get their asses whooped by a Triple G. In the case of Danny Jacobs, he's saying he needs to build the fight up more. That he's not willing to fight Gennady Golovkin for chump change. That he wants the Golovkin fight. But if he's going to fight a guy this dangerous, a guy this powerful, that has to be worth it for himself financially in order to take that big risk. But that's the problem. Daniel Jacobs is doing nothing to build this fight. What the hell he's been doing for the past seven months? Nothing. Gets his biggest win of his career, and his momentum is killed because he hasn't been in the ring ever since. He's, he's got in less than three rounds of work in his last two fights, and he's yet to have a date set for his next fight, which is either going to be in August or September, with Sergio Amor, Amor rematch most likely being the opponent, most likely being the assignment. So what the, hell, what the hell is Danny Jacobs doing in order to build this fight up, in order to make it more lucrative, make it more worthwhile for Jacobs to finally step up and fight Triple G? He's been doing nothing ever since he won that bogus strap. He's been the mando to, to Triple G for, over, for pretty much almost two years. And look at the opponents he's been fighting. Look at the inactivity as of late. And now he's... Instead of moving on to bigger and better things, he's going backwards in his in his campaign by taking on a pointless rematch, which he admitted himself does nothing for his career. That it's a fight that doesn't get doesn't get him excited, that he can't get up for it. And it, it's a meaningless fight and also a fight that's not necessary, since as Jacob says, it does nothing for his career. He already stopped the guy. Yeah, the Due to controversial circumstances, the guy broke his ankle and surged with more. However, Jacobs got dropped in that fight. So why on earth would his team want to take a fight with a, a an experienced veteran, Sergio Mora, who can make it for a difficult night for anyone? It's not a guy that's easy to look good against, and Sergio Mora just has a type of style that just doesn't make for a sensational night in the ring. If you were fighting against a Sergio Mora. So, looks like that's going to be the next opponent for, for Jacobs as he was taken off the July 30th date in order to get his own headliner, his own date. And he has to sit on the shelf even more just to get this fight over with. In the case of Billy Joe Saunders, I mean, this guy just keeps trolling, talking a lot of shit, talks a good game on Twitter, and then... Shows no action. Does the complete opposite of what he's saying. As I, according to some, some whispers, I'm hearing Saunders demanded a $4 million payday. Guaranteed purse against Triple G, which is a non-starter. I mean, that's just pretty much pricing yourself out of the fight. Just pretty much stating to Golovkin's team that you're not serious, that you don't want the fight. That you don't want to fight for all the marbles. That you're not serious about fighting a triple g four million dollars that is it's a non-starter i mean billy joe saunders is not even a proven draw in the uk and he's asking for four million in order to get his ass whooped that is life changing money for him in order to take the fight but i'm hearing he was offered as much as two million to take the fight but he doesn't take it. Says it's not enough to get his ass whooped. That's the thing. These guys need to... They want... 
they want these lucrative paydays to fight the baddest middleweight in the division, they need to do something with their careers in order to raise their profiles. You know, they need, they need to step up their name recognition, do something, instead of sitting out for seven months and not being active, while, while another fighter who's not, who doesn't hold any hardware, doesn't have a world title, only has a British title, and Chris Eubank is staying active. Constantly being in the headlines, being in the, being in the news, and well, and because of his name recognition, because he's a big name in the UK, because of his drawing power, he can get a really big lucrative payday to fight Triple G. I'm hearing around three million pounds, but Eubank Jr.'s father is is, is asking for. A little more than that. But the fight could still be made because it's a huge fight and both guys are big names. And Eubank Jr. is creating a lot of buzz with his performances, with his with his showings, and he's constantly being active. So his name recognition warrants a bigger payday to fight a triple G. Because he's in that position while these other guys are not doing doing enough, they're not being active enough, or they're not taking the right fights in order to raise their profiles in order to, for the fight to be lucrative, more lucrative with a Triple G. If Jacobs was to fight Triple G later this year, the fight would still be a big fight, It'd still be a significant fight, and it's a fight HBO would be willing to put on pay-per-view since they can't afford it on a regular network. So that's still a lucrative fight. It would sell out in the East Coast, especially in the state of New York. So I don't see how that fight is not big enough for Jacob. Simply, he's just not enough money on the table. But there is something these guys can do, both Billy Joe Saunders and Danny Jacobs, in order to make this fight more lucrative. They could actually fucking fight each other they could put their straps on the line even though Jacobs has a bogus strap it's still considered a world title they could fight each other and that's what Jacobs is claiming he wants he wants to fight with Billy Joe Saunders as Saunders is just looking like a bitch more and more every day as according to, to Showtime uh, the Showtime executive Steven Espinosa they reached out to Saunders teams for a Jacobs fight and Saunders showed no interest. So, I don't know if it's true. If Billy Joe Saunders turned down a fight with, with Danny Jacobs, if he did, then then what the fuck? What do you plan on doing with that WO title? Holding a hostage, fighting hand-picked opponents? You won't even fight any named fighters. A, a fighter in Danny Jacobs that you said, Billy Joe Saunders, you will whoop his ass since he's not a real champion. So why am I hearing that you actually turned down a, a potential fight with him for some time this year? It just makes no sense. I mean, why wouldn't you want that fight? It's a unification on paper. It will get a, a an added name on your resume and also could make the Triple G fight even more lucrative if you were to win that fight. But... For whatever reason, that fight didn't go down. As a Showtime boss is saying, Saunders didn't want that work. So Jacobs needs to do something in order to make this fight more lucrative. But he's saying, he's talking about a year and a half before he fights a Triple G. A year and a half. So what the fuck are you going to do in, in between that? What fights are you going to be taking in order to make this fight more lucrative? In order to have more money available on the table to entice you to take this fight? I mean, your team ain't doing a good job. Heyman got you sitting on the shelf collecting dust. Not riding off the momentum you could have gotten. By being more active, following the, the 
The biggest win of your career. A first round knockout over Peeler Quillen. But it is what it is. These two chumps are scared to death for Triple G. Danny Jacobs, Billy Joe Saunders. They just want to hold on to their hardware. Don't want to do nothing with it. Don't want to take significant fights. And pretty much just given the impression that they don't believe they have a chance in hell against Triple G and want double the pay that's being offered to them in order to get their asses whooped by Gennady Golovkin. But these guys don't have the name recognition or the market value to ask what they're asking for from Triple G's team. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.